Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. In this video, I am going to talk about the popular one, ChatGPT, powered by the OpenAI company. So what is ChatGTP? ChatGTP is basically a well-defined model uh, created by the OpenAI organization, or I would say it's a artificial intelligence and research company. Okay, so based on the data that they have collected until 2021, all of the data, around 800 gigabyte of data, and then uh, you know, a lot of things they have done to uh, expose four models, and each model does different, different things. So based on that, you can ask something, and you will be able to get an approximate or almost good answer from the artificial intelligence and i'm going to show you the demo now why am i talking about this so if you if you go to open ai you will have a lot of examples and you know even the live examples are there the only thing is the code that they have is with the node.js and python and they do not have with anything else so but the packages that they have is available in NuGet and which means I thought of trying it in Angular and I was able to succeed. So I've developed an application in Angular and I'm going to show you a demo for that. So let's first take a look at the demo, how the AI is responding to our questions, to our different questions. And then I will explain you the code and the source code where it is. Okay. All right. So let's say I, uh, so before I continue, if you look at down, these are the four models that they are available. So each model has its own uniqueness. So this model is like most capable model. If you ask anything and uh, anything that you ask is called prompt. Anything that you ask, you will have a good answer from this. Okay. There are a few parameters that we will talk about while we go through the coding, but uh, basically based on the parameters, the response varies actually. Okay. So these are the four models. So you can use uh, based on the cost and other factors, the models will be here. Okay, so let's first experiment and then explain you why this is outside and why it has been spoken so much about. So I'm giving a prompt, I'm giving an instruction or a question to, to the AI. So basically I'm saying give me a step by step instruction for cooking a chicken clear soup. So if I click on it, I'm actually calling the OpenAI query. I'm passing this parameters and information and it's basically an outside API request. Okay, so it is just giving me an answer okay and so for this i got an answer and you know you can ask literally anything if i ask a write a sample code in angular to show the timer it's gonna give me some code you know literally it gave me a code whether this is right or not it works or not it is good enough for us to start and even if we provide a code and ask what is wrong with the code it will still try to explain you all right so so you can literally ask anything and you know let me show you some other example so i'm just trying to generate a barcode and then it is even telling me how to generate the barcode okay all right so let's see some other example um, let's see something like you know okay so i'm asking for a healthy breakfast suggestion and it is giving me some response which is also good you know it's giving me what kind of different options i have see every time when you do it varies the 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 response from the ai varies okay so depends on how good you're typing here it will understand you and it will try to explain you or you know give you an answer so let's do this okay so i'm saying there is something mistake in this and please correct it so it also responds me that see wrote and read a book yesterday which is the correct sentence there is a mistake in the sentence which was intentionally made so it now corrected the grammar and everything all right so now let's see let's ask what is mistake with this grammar okay so it will tell you the mistake with the sentence is that read is used incorrectly as a verb it should be something like that right um anyway so all basically what i'm saying is anything that you you ask you will be able to get an answer and that depends on the model the model that you are using depends on that it varies okay so each model is described here and then so based on what you use the cost and other factors comes into picture so let's understand what is token what is model and what are the other few parameters that we use to call the api okay all right so this is the sample app that i have so let me explain you uh, about the OpenAI code, okay, which is what is important, right? So basically, 
we will install OpenAI package. So the package is here. Let's go to the package. So there is something called OpenAI package and this is the version. And version 3 means that's the third generation GPT-3. That is what the website calls, right? So that's the third, third generation and the data that is included for this artificial intelligence is until 2021 of data. Okay, 2022 of data, we are expecting the company to release with the, G, the OpenAI 4.0 version. And you know, which means anything that happened during 2022, if you ask something about that, AI will not know information about that and it won't respond to you in a, in a, in a correct way. So that is what it means, right? It's all about the data. So with the data, with their structure, with the, the way they have programmed and the way they have uh, analyzed this information, uh, you know, they will respond it. I mean, the API will respond it. Okay, now what else? So this is the package that we install. Once you install the package, you'll be able to get the configuration and open AI API from the open AI uh, the NuGet package, okay? And then it's fairly simple. Basically, what we are trying to do is we are creating a config key, configuration of type key. So this key is coming from my place and this key you basically have to generate it, okay? We'll talk about the key in a moment. Now, all what you're doing is we are now opening an uh, instance of open API with the key, which means if it is a valid key, we will get a valid instance. And once the instance is there, Okay, we generate the, uh, uh, the the request body, I would say. In the request body, there are many parameters. The important parameter is model. Okay, there are four models. So based on what model you use, the response will be there. So if I use this model, it's going to give me the response based on that model, how it is trying. This model is a special model. Basically, you can ask anything and then uh, there is a 4,000 tokens uh, allowed. What is token? So the 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 company right the api splits the incoming words into tokens sometimes a single letter itself it's a token sometimes a word is a token text is a token but let's say butterscotch butterscotch is one word but they put butterscotch into four tokens they split this butterscotch butterscotch they split into four and that's how they have explained right so we don't know really what word is being split into what token but what we can say is based on how much character we type right uh, it will be considered as token so for this model there's a 4000 tokens that is allowed for other things it's 2048 now this is called prompt prompt here i'm taking it from our direct uh, text box so prompt is the kind of a question or the conversation that you're starting with the ai okay so we will send that under the prompt and there are two important factors that you should see temperature and top p both need should not be modified only one should be modified so temperature is the accuracy of like the more risk how the ai will take the it starts from zero to one the more closer to one the risk will be high meaning the prediction will be uh you know kind of a very very perfect or approximate of what you're exactly asking if you put it into 0 0.1 or 0 uh, basically it will uh, let, let's take a look how how it is changing right so if i change to 0 0.1 and if i ask the same question okay if i ask the same question again it might the, the response will be definitely different okay so the same questions asked with the different um, temperature uh, varies always okay so all right and similarly top p now each parameters are important and uh, they are explained in the documentation we will cover that in deep in the next video in which i will be creating a chatbot okay interactive chatbot now frequency penalty starts with minus two to two okay so they all have to be carefully uh, you know consumed and the next important thing is the max token see max token is nothing but what kind of response you wanted the AI to give you back if you leave it empty or don't give a number then AI will think that you are asking very elaborate thing and it's going to give you uh, so much of information every information that comes from AI is also counted as token so do not leave it blank or very more so I have put as 150 250 based on how detailed information you want from AI okay so those are the simple thing and once you have that we will use the OpenAI instance and 
initiate a, a completion they are called as completion pass in the request body you will get a response and response i am casting it into request model and that is what you're seeing in the ui all right i just beautified it okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it back to 0 0.9 five and then let's go back let's put the same question i'm gonna open the developer tool to tell you what's going on here so let's hit a click we have sent a request that's why you see this one and once the request comes with the response see the request has been sent this is the model that we sent and the response will come like this okay so I have beautified like this, but basically response comes like this. So it has a choice. It is an array of choice. Okay. So if you expand it, it will give you a text and text will have the response. And that response is what I have beautified here. And it will also tell you what model you used, what kind of usage was been, you know, see the total token uh, was like we sent eight and it came back for 50. So total was 158. Okay. So that's the uh, token count all right now what you can do with this you can actually use this in a good way okay so you can ask some questions which you are not aware of if you wanted to start with something you can do something like that and generally why this company is doing this along with Microsoft is uh, any company can build their own uh, you know artificial intelligent application for their own organization use which means you know the the lesser support and then it's everything is automated okay so those kind of thing you can build you can build intelligent uh, application or a chatbot wherein a physical person may not to be there you know you you can actually give an account number and say hey cancel my account uh, let's say netflix is using it or some other companies using it right they can actually create an application which supports all these things and they can integrate with their system. So there are a lot of things that you can do. Okay. And uh, let's go to the, the the cost. This company is initially giving a trial version, a trial version of $18. And I started building this from yesterday. I have a lot of requests being sending from yesterday. Okay. You see this? It started only from yesterday. And then I'm able to uh, use only 0 0.07 dollars which means I have not even come to 0 0.1 so I have a lot of credits so with this I can build so many things I can experiment it and then if let's say if and this been given until this time and let's say the the cost is over I can actually upgrade it pay as you go so as you use you pay okay so keys are here you have to just copy this key so once you sign up you give your information come to this account section and create a key and you can use that key okay you can use the key in the application and um, i think this is good to start with now and uh, i will i will develop a chat uh, bot and and i'm going to share with you guys so i hope you you like this video and uh, you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section what you think about this chat gpt and uh, can you also and do you wish to build any other uh, specific AI powered application? Let me know in the comment section and uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon.